Hey guys, Lee, Jen, Bo, Theme Park Ohana. You're part of the Ohana today, Bo. Uh, we're here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're just gonna walk around, check out what's new. We only have a few hours before yeah. between stroller stuff. So we figured maybe walk around, see if we can spot anything new to show you guys. Judging by the amount of cars in the parking lot, I'm predicting we get zero rides in. Yeah, just like yesterday. Yeah. No rides are probably gonna happen. Yeah. But follow the adventure anyway. today. Jen wants to shop first. This could be scary for me. Hey Lee. What? Guess what? What? Duck butt. Nope. Hey Lee. <laughs> what? Guess what? What? Duck butt. <laughs> she did it backwards the first time. <laughs> I haven't seen those. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. How much is that one? $19.99. Hey dear. It's interesting. They didn't have any of the uh, the, the Main Street window pins here. Wonder if they're going to be hard to get and really popular. Oh, what's this? These are Run Disney ears. Oh, Sarah would like it these. Looks like they're not made well though, because the seams are splitting already. <laughs> like a lot of them, the seams are splitting. Uh, and on the side, it says every mile is magic. Every mile is magic. Yeah, but we see a couple split open already. Not good. So now we'll mosey down Sunset Boulevard and maybe hit up a few of the shops. Jen, do you see this Pandora charm? Oh, really? Why do they still have a sign out for it? Hi, I'd like one DVC membership, please. Uh, they, they ran away. Dang. They're, they're gone now. Sad. It's because they saw the look in my eye. <laughs> Jen's getting her first look it's at the Skyline. Oh, it is? I, I couldn't yeah. tell. Because that's a skeleton and that's the guy. Oh, it's like facing straight at you. Yeah. Let's show that. So that one's Pirates and I couldn't tell the other guy. And this one I don't think we've shown yet. It's the 101 Dalmatians one. Dooney and Burke. This one. One. 298. 298 and how much is? You sell like in sunglasses? So it's usually like three something. I don't know, 298 as well. So they're both 298. And I did like you it. show that they have a tote? In both yes, I did. Okay, I couldn't remember. We're Do you not trust my shopping abilities? No, I don't. So it's what? 11.30? Roughly? Exactly 11.30. Oh, wow. That was a good guess. At 11.30 on a Friday afternoon or morning. Right now, Rock and Roller Coaster is a 50-minute wait. And it's interesting that the Phantasma queue is what they're using. Yeah, I guess they... Uh, now, it's one of those. It's one of those uh, traffic traffic control areas. Now here's a good example of how the queues can seem deceiving, because normally 50 minutes will fit completely in the entire queue. Yeah, it won't even look without busy. even coming out of the building. Yeah. So, this is what would normally be inside the building. This, this is queue, what six so. feet apart looks like. Yeah. And look, they're shutting down the road. Here comes the trip. It's like the trip. Look, next. and the traffic signal says go. <laughs> it's like it's supposed to be. They're letting the next group across. And uh, standby wait for Hollywood Tower of Terror is 75 minutes. Oof. Well, that's long. Yeah, that's pretty long for the Tower of Terror. I don't think we've ever waited more than 10 minutes for it. Yeah. So Fairfax Fair is still closed. This place has really good food. It kind of stinks that it's, it's shut down. I know. Because there aren't a ton of quick service options here. There's two right there. Yeah, but this one has really unique and I good know. food. This one has different food. So we're moseying on into the Sunset Ranch Market. We're gonna check out the menu. See if there's anything new or unique. So this is all American. It's just like traditional American food, burgers and stuff. One thing to note is they will only 
accept mobile order here. I've been refused service twice um, because I did not have the mobile order to pay with available. Like, huh? they will not accept You cash. sound a little salty about it. Very, because I had to walk all the way to the other side of the park to get food. <laughs> They do have a couple of unique drink options. They got a Captain Morgan Fruit Punch cocktail that's eleven dollars. A Red Stag Black Cherry Herb and Lemonade for thirteen. A very berry lemonade for twelve, which is spiced rum. And then they have a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, which is interesting because five feet away is Sunshine Day Bar, and they have some unique offerings here as well, like the Cherry Blossom that has Bacardi Superior Rum. Cherry liqueur, pineapple. Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. Uh, Southside Fizz that has gin, pure cane sugar, lemon juice, top of soda water. A blackberry moonshine lemonade, which has old smoky blackberry moonshine, Minute Maid premium lemonade, lemon juice, and blackberry syrup. That one's 14. And then Southside Fizz is 14. They have draft beers. And they also have strawberry daiquiris, which that's Jen loves strawberry daiquiris. So Jen is also super salty about this, that the sweet uh, Sunset Range Pins and Souvenir Shop is closed. This place has a great collection of pins. I mean, to be fair, they move them all into the dark room, but Yeah, still. but they this place you used to be able to find pins that you didn't see anywhere else, too. Yeah. So, and did they have a pin trading board here? No. They never had a pin trading board here? So it's not the end of the world. Ooh, Jen, that speaks to you. So we're here at the ice cream place, right? Oh, it, it's really good. I've gotten it a few times. Oh, you've already? Oh, I didn't know about this. <laughs> Yeah, the, the secrets you keep from me. Well, if you watched my vlogs, you would They're, know it. This, the snack secrets. Yes. But it's a brownie sundae. It's house-made brownie and old-fashioned vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and whipped cream. And the best part, with a cherry on no, top. The best part is the price because this is actually not bad. It's only seven bucks. And it's pretty big? Yeah. So now all the gift shops are now open because they've reopened... Um, what's the name of that one here, Jen? Clothiers. Keystone Clothiers. All the ones on the right side are open on Sunset. The only one not open is the one right behind me, which I'll show you right now. So Beverly Sunset and Real Vogue are still closed. And this is where they had a lot of the Pixar stuff. So it's kind of disappointing. I don't know. Yeah, they just say, go to Toy Story Land if you want the Pixar toys. Again, the queues can be very deceiving because the wait time on the end of the line stick says 60 minutes. So... Very deceiving. One day I'm gonna get to get on there. I know it. So Jen's in line, she's gonna get K some popcorn. Because popcorn refills here are only two dollars if you bring your popcorn bucket. Now and I didn't bring the Christmas one. Right in this main hub area, there's three popcorn stands. Like they this is the most pop usually all have a line. Yeah, this is the most popcorn stands per capita in <laughs> Disney property. So also another quick service dining option is the ABC commissary, which is open. And you can come here, but it's quick, it's uh, mobile order only. You have to place your mobile order. And then once they call you, you go inside and get your food. Now it doesn't have any prices here on the menu, but they have pork carnadas, tacos, Mediterranean salad with chicken, chicken club sandwich, buffalo cheese, gr a chicken grilled cheese sandwich, a curry rice bowl with shrimp and a California burger. There's also some kid meals options. I'm gonna insert the, um, QR code here so you guys can scan it at home and check out the menu. So the Sci-Fi Diner open, which is an awesome uh, experience. We uh, we have to do a vlog of that one day again. It's been a long. Yeah, it's very dark in there. And then you also got the Baseline Tap House, which is right behind it, where you can get uh, unique beers and they have a beer pretzel, which we might go to see how long the line is. Well, so much for that plan. Very long line to get in the baseline. Jen, you know what doesn't have a line here today? The trash can? Yes, the trash can does not currently have a line. Also, the line to sign up for DVC, oh. non-existent. Oh, so there's something we can do today. Nope. <laughs> I just wanted to tease you. You're evil. Jen, you know what's better than your favorite fountain? Actual ducks in my The Walt and Rebecca are in your favorite fountain. I thought I was going to struggle finding ducks today. Look at the ducks today. Yeah, look. They're all wet. They're like getting splashed on. I'm having a good old time. I just hope those mice don't catch them on their fishing lines. So another great quick service option is Pizza Rizzo. 
where you get pizza and other small uh, Italian dishes and sandwiches and stuff. Quick service. So another good quick service that's open and available right now. And you'll see a lot of people kind of hanging around outside. That's because it's a mobile order spot, just like all the other quick services. I don't know how you're getting overheated with all this snow on the ground. <laughs> it's a wonderful shop is closed. I didn't realize that. Yeah, no Christmas for you. That probably breaks your heart. Oh yeah, look sad. Sad walk. I love the statue of Kermit the Frog. But there's also a very sad girl here. All she wanted to do was go into the Muppet store. Today's full of disappointment. First, Rebecca was in your favorite fountain. Just searching the name of my favorite fountain. <laughs> and now, no Muppet store. Uh, she's not happy right now. You know what should cheer you up? TBC? No. I know that would cheer you up. <laughs> you know what else should cheer you up? What? That you're spending some awesome time with this handsome gentleman behind the camera. I just wish it wasn't so hot. Yeah, it's kind of warm today. It's going to be hot this whole weekend, like in the 90s. So as far as Star Wars food offerings, we're not even going to go in Star Wars right now because it is packed. It's like feeling the whole park was hitting in there. Yes, yeah, so all their food is available. Yeah. All the snacks, foods, drinks. Star Wars is open 100%, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. And uh, Millennium Falcon is currently a 70, 7-0 minute wait. And of course, Rise of the Resistance is boarding passes. Yeah, and I tried to get them this morning. Oh, I, did you really? Yeah, I got up at like 6.58, and by the time I hit 7 and I hit refresh, they were gone. Yeah. So we didn't get in there, so... We're just going to not go in Star Wars today. We're going to show you the offerings that are available throughout the rest of the park. Jen, remember right over here? Honey, I shrunk the kids. Lights, camera, action. There was a, a cars meet and greet right here. Streets of America, all gone. Because the galaxy far, far away took over. One of my favorite things in Disney property here is right here on the side of the Muppet uh, 3D show. Props department, Rizzo Rat. We got it for a price. Jen, they're still swilling the good name of your fountain. It's Walt and Rebecca's Wild and Wacky Water World. Bye guys, see you next time. The Star Tours line is all the way down Grand Avenue, almost down to Muppets. And there's a lot of people here. It's a little crowded today. Feeling a little crowdy. And for the usual, it's 35 minutes, so the queue is a bit deceiving. So don't be intimidated by the queues. Yeah. Go by the app. And generally what people are telling us... Is that they're still over posting. It's usually yes, it's usually less than what is posted. Yeah. Now Backlot Express is open and you'll see a lot of people huddled around outside. That's because again, mobile order. They're waiting for their order to be called. I finally found a stand with no line. Now I got to see if they have a beer I haven't tried before. So Lee got the Kona Longboard. Longboard. He's had it before, so he knows he likes it. That is the one you've had before, right? Yeah, good. So right outside of the relaxation station in Indiana Jones is Epic Eats, which has funnel cakes that we are going to try. Oh, they got two really good ones. They got a strawberry topping. The cookies and cream topping on the funnel cakes. Ooh. They also have a Barks root beer float, and there's also one with alcohol that's fourteen dollars that comes with vodka. Some interesting drinks here. Well, I guess we are funnel cake divas. Yeah, we're used to having it like you know up north on the boardwalk, Jersey Ocean City. Fresh. Yeah. I don't feel like that was fresh. It was also very overcooked. Like it was well done. Well, that could also be from the sitting too. Yeah, it, sitting in it, the warmer. It just didn't seem fresh. Yeah. It was, it was just okay. Now I'm wishing I would have went to the fair and gotten some. Oh. I know. Because it would have been? Much better. Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> so sad days. If you love going to Gertie's for the ice cream, Gertie's is currently not operating. I never really liked the ice cream there, but my kids love Gertie's ice cream. And I know a lot of people would like to frequent Gertie's, so, but it is currently not operating. So as far as sit-down services, so far we had um, Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater, 
Primetime 50s Cafe. 50s Primetime Cafe is open, so there's another seating uh, sit-down option. I think the only other sit-down option here right now is the Brown Derby. I believe Hollywood and Vines reopen too, so there are all the sit-downs are open here. So all the sit-downs are open. Yeah. Now we've only eaten here at Hollywood and Vine once, and it was like on our first vacation. 2011. Long before Theme Park Ohana was even a memory or even a thought in the process. And we're a couple of slackers because we were back there. Mama Melrose's is also open as a sit down dining option. And 50s Primetime, Mama Melrose's, Sci Fi, and Hollywood Brown Derby all offer a walk up wait list. However, they're all full right now due to it being Friday and it's very busy. Oh, yeah. So, like today, if we wanted to sit down at one of these, not happening. Yeah. I mean, well, I guess I they could put... Unless there was a reservation available. Yeah. But uh, all the... So basically, all the sit-down options here in Hollywood Studios are up and running as of today, Friday, February 26th. Yes. So Jen is overheated, so I'm going to catch up on the last couple things without her. But PB's Polar Pipeline, which has frozen concoctions, a lot of adult options here, is open. And one of these days I will try some of these because I really want to try them, especially the Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey and Coke. They also have a Blue Raspberry Wild Cherry Minute Maid Premium Lemonade for, uh, Frozen Concoctions that do not have alcohol. Or you can add a shot of Bacardi or Tito's Handmade Vodka and make it $13. The one without alcohol is $5. And I love the theming here because it's supposed to be like a... Uh, a mechanic shop or something. They got like the tool chest here. And they got like boilers in the back. It's so cool. The Dockside Diner Quick Service is currently closed, and this is a very, very popular place. It kind of stinks that it's closed because they have like hot dogs, pulled pork sandwiches, nachos, just stuff that's easy, quick to get. Kids like. Kind of disappointing that it's not open when it, you know, I think it could be open, but you know. I'm sure they have their own thought processes. Now this is what I was kind of joking about earlier in the vlog, that there's popcorn stations almost everywhere around here. There's one here, there's one up on Hollywood, and there's one straight across next to Frozen. Three like in a really small area. Man, I miss this show. It would be a great chance to get out of the heat for a little bit, cool off, and it's a really entertaining show, but I love the Mandalorian banners lining up to the star wars launch bay where they have the, they used to have the meet and greets right now they do not have the meet and greets but right across from it is a little ice cream stand if you wanted to get some ice cream it's kind of off in the corner not many people know about this one so as we discussed the hollywood brown derby is open this is also the location yeah. of the club 33 which i don't know if club 33 is operating in normal probably not i would say i'm not sure I really can't speak to it, but this is open. This is one of the more expensive sit-down options on Disney property. And you guys probably can't read it because it's very small print. They have like the filet mignon that's $50. Uh, Salisbury steak that's $29. Salmon for $38. Uh, chicken breast for $33. This is one of the more expensive restaurants to eat at here on Disney property. Especially, this is probably the most expensive in Hollywood Studios for sure. Hey, Walt. Thank you for Disney appreciate it this is interesting they have the doors open back to where the Incredibles used to be the home of the Municiburg the home of the Supers but it's only a 30 minute wait right now for Toy Story Mania which is optimistic for people that are here something they can jump in line and do pretty quickly now over here right outside of Municiburg right outside of Toy Story Land they have a Joffrey's and this has been closed up until recently the market where you can get some different snacks and drinks um, they have some really good drinks here too, some specialty drinks. Like they have a sunshine margarita and they also have a classic pina colada. And if you like IPAs, they got a uh, Yai Alai IPA draft. Now right behind Woody, they got some scrim up. This is where they're gonna have a new dining experience. I'm not quite sure when it's gonna be done and ready, but it's gonna be Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. I'm excited for this. So as we come to the crossroads between Slinky Dog Dash and Alien Swirling Saucer, you do have a small stand that has different um, ice creams. You can get a beer here, a couple beers. They also have mixed drinks. I don't see a menu for the mixed drinks. Popcorn. 
No, it's not listed on the menu. I see a margarita and a vodka spout, so they must have some specialty mixed drinks here as well. So there are not a lot of food and drink options here in Toy Story Land. The main option right here is Woody's Lunchbox. Um, it's, right now it's currently a long wait. This has not been open that long. It was closed for the longest time, but now it is currently reopened. Um, the wait is pretty long. I was talking to a couple of guests. They said it's over a half an hour wait just for your mobile order pickup. Again, like the other quick service, mobile order. And this just speaks to what I was talking about before. A lot of people do not know that this is here. There is absolutely zero line on a very busy day. It's just kind of hidden behind the archways when you head over towards the launch bay. Now, I'm kind of surprised this one has a line. This is right at the corner of Sunset and Hollywood. Generally, this is one that people don't know a lot about either. They have different beers, wines, ice creams, and drinks for you to get. And again, it's right at the corner of Sunset and Hollywood. And I think it's pretty common knowledge. All the Starbucks throughout Disney properties are open and available to get your coffee and snacks, pastries, breakfast sandwiches, stuff like that. The crowds are kind of fizzling here on Hollywood. I guess a lot of people are in line right now or it's that middle point of the day where people are taking hotel breaks. But I found somebody hanging out on Hollywood. This is one of the stars of Hollywood Boulevard. The one, the only, Jen. You know, I still can't text you to find out where you are because you have your phone on Do Not Disturb. Oh. Did my text come through on your watch? Oh, uh, no, it didn't. No. So well, this, is what, this is part of filming on the phone. Great. I need to find a way to set me as able to come. Do the, come do the drama. Do the, no, no. You got to do this. Oh, I do declare. Oh. <laughs> Jen, don't you love this Mickey's of Hollywood logo? Yeah. That is like, I feel like I'm shopping in the classiest of shops. We always like to stop and look at the new emos. Oh, no. This is Nightmare Before Christmas. With all the spiders. It's Oogie Boogie. Oh, you can dress them up as Oogie Boogie. That's kind of cool. What? Oogie Boogie has okay. pink shoes? Apparently now he does. Ah. And one sorry. of my favorite things to do when we come into these different gift shops is look at the scenes they have the Moemo set up as. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Rapunzel, but that looks so much like one of the girls from um, Minions. Oh, yeah, but look at looking in the mirror at us. Yeah, it's so cute. I love the scenes they do. Like, we've seen this one with the coffee cups and Donald writing the names. But I have not seen this one. It's adorable. Sorry. Only Jennifer can spot a pin board from a mile away. It's a pin. It's a pin suitcase. Jen, what does this mean when you find a Mr. Pin? No. Does that mean Divorce City? Yeah, I'm thinking it didn't end The well. Disney romance didn't last. <laughs> And we're gonna end today's vlog right where we started it. Right here with Bo. And the Coca-Cola frozen stand is closed. And this is gonna wrap up the dining options that are here available at Hollywood Studios, spring 2021. I think I covered everything. If I missed anything, post in the comments below. All right guys, that's gonna do it here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Again, I think I covered all the food that's open, what's, what's closed, what's open. As far as menus, just download that Magic My Disney Experience um, and just click on whatever restaurant you want to see what they actually have as current offerings because this would have been a very long vlog if I showed all of the offerings. Yeah, or you can go to DisneyWorld.com uh, and you can access the menus yes. through there. You can search by restaurant this was, quick service. This was more to show you what was open, what was closed as far as your dining options for spring of 2021. Yep. And that's as of today, it could change. Yeah, it changes constantly yeah, right now, so. As of today, this is, you got a general idea probably for the next month or two, what's gonna be open and what's not. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for watching. watching. And, and now, now we're on, on to the, the next adventure. adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys.
Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.